Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution of problem 1.17 from Mechanical Vibration 6th edition by S.S. Rao and the problem is same 1.17 in 5th edition of Mechanical Vibration by S.S. Rao. So the problem is about stiffness of spring so this is problem in 6th edition 1.17 and then in 5th edition the same problem is 1.17 and the statement of the problem is the tripod shown in figure 1.73 is used for mounting an electric electronic instrument that finds the distance between two points in space the leg of tripod are located symmetrically above the mid vertical axis and leg making an angle alpha with the vertical if each leg has a length L and axial stiffness K, find equivalent spring stiffness of the tripod in vertical direction. So this topic is related to spring elements 1.7 and then combination of spring. So in this problem, the legs of legs, so they have stiffness of leg are considered in parallel so legs when we are going to use them as a spring so their stiffness is considered as parallel as they share the same displacement so and when the legs are in parallel so then in topic 1.7.4 equation 1.11 can be used to find their equivalent spring stiffness but this problem can be solved using equivalence of elastic potential energy using equivalent of elastic potential energy as elastic potential energy of whole system is equal to elastic potential energy of each leg so that is sum of elastic potential energy of each leg and elastic potential energy can be calculated as u is equal to half k x squared so k is the spring stiffness and then x is the displacement so now uh, further now further here is a vertical plane drawn here and each leg makes an angle alpha with that vertical plane so let's say that is here is that vertical plane and leg of length L is making an angle alpha with it. So then if uh, the electronic instrument so that has a vertical displacement of X, so then axial displacement of each leg is considered here assumed as XA, mean that each leg will be compressed by XA, so the length of each leg will become L minus x a so in this case then we can start with equivalent kinetic energy or the whole system so let's say that is half k equivalent into x squared so that is for whole of the system and that is equal to half and now for each leg k is a stiffness given and then x a is the axial stiffness so plus half k x a squared and for the third leg again the same that is k a x squared so by adding terms on right hand side it will become 3 by 2 k x a squared and then half on both sides is being cancelled so leaving k equivalent is x squared into 3 k x a squared and k equivalent that will become 3 k x a squared over x squared so that is equivalent stiffness but in this problem in this problem uh, we have to simplify the terms so that we can write that x a and x in terms of the given parameters which are l and alpha so we try to write that x a and x in terms of the given parameters l and alpha and for that reason for that one i'm going to combine these two figures 
now by combining these two uh, figures here so that is the actual length of e length of each lag and then x is a vertical displacement and then due to that vertical displacement the new length of the lag that will become l minus x a with that angle alpha so this will become an oblique triangle and in oblique triangle we can use cosine rules to solve this problem so now on this triangle cosine law of trigonometry can be applied which is a squared plus is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 bc cosine alpha so then angle opposite uh, side opposite to angle alpha is l minus x a squared is equal to l squared plus x squared minus 2 l x cos alpha and then this can be expanded as l squared plus x a squared minus 2 l x a is equal to l squared plus x squared minus 2 l x cos alpha and then l squared can be cancelled on both sides and then by rearranging that x squared minus 2 l x cos alpha minus x a squared plus 2 l x a and then it will become a quadratic equation like x squared minus 2 l cos alpha into x plus 2 l x a minus x a squared so now using this expression x can be written in terms of x a or we can develop a relationship between x and x a in terms of either l and cosine alpha so the quadratic equation can be solved like 2 l cos alpha plus minus 2 l cos alpha squared minus 4 to 2 l x a minus x a squared over 2 now this 2 can be divided to all terms so it's cancelled with that and when that 2 go inside the root so it will become 4 and then that 2 square which is 4 that is going to divide with that 4 so then it is l cos alpha squared minus that 4 is going to cancel so then that is a simplified form of it then further from determine the radical l cos alpha can be taken as a common so when it go outside the root it will become l cos alpha and then here 1 minus it will say like 2 l x a minus x a squared over l squared cos squared alpha that is the square of that and then this root can be written as half power so the term inside the bracket so that can be simplified using binomial series expansion for 1 plus x raised per n and ignoring that higher terms like x squared so just considering first two terms so it will become 1 minus half times by whatever is expression there and then term inside the brackets that will become 1 minus 2 l x a minus x a squared over 2 l squared cos squared alpha further as x a is very small uh, that is change in length of uh, lag so that is very small so its higher power can be neglected because by taking a square of it it is almost zero so this term here x a squared can be replaced with zero and then when it's being replaced with the zero and then 2 is going to cancel with 2 and L is going to cancel with L squared so inside the bracket left with x a L minus cos square alpha now there is plus and minus and considering only negative sign ignoring that positive sign so that to get some values which are reasonable so then further we will get the same expression with the negative sign and l cos alpha is going to multiply with inside the bracket so when it is being multiplied inside the bracket l is going to cancel with l and cos alpha is going to cancel with cos squared alpha so then l cos alpha is going to cancel with l cos alpha so the both of those terms are zero and then simplify there that will become x is equal to x a over cos alpha and x over x a is equal to cos alpha now here i have that k equivalent is equal to 3 k x minus x a over x squared 
So now I have that value of x over x is paired. It can be substituted into k equivalent expression. Now k equivalent is 3k x over x is squared. So now x over x is cos alpha. So then k equivalent that will become 3k into cos squared alpha. So k equivalent for tripod strand it is 3k. K is the length uh, stiffness of each leg and then cos squared alpha and that is alpha angle each leg makes with the vertical so that is how k equivalent is being calculated for this problem so thank you very much for